I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV, and in this video, we're going to go through how to flash most of the Express LRS transmitters. And the process we're going to follow is the one for the Beta FPV 2.4 GHz transmitter, but this process is practically the same for every other transmitter. Some of them do have their little quirks, so I'll go through those uh, separately, but for now, it's the same process for every single one of them. If you're seeing this video and you haven't set up your radio correctly for Express LRS and for this model, there is another video in this series that will help you do that. So let's get straight into it. If you haven't already, you will need to go to the Express LRS webpage and download the Express LRS configurator. It'll take you to the one that corresponds directly to your operating system. So download that and then get it installed. Now, there are two ways to flash the transmitter. The one that I find the easiest is to actually flash the transmitter directly through USB. Now, the other thing you're also gonna need is the Lua script. In the previous video about setting up the radio, there is a tutorial on how to do that. A lot of people have issues flashing Express LRS to the transmitter module. And common cause of that is because they've plugged this into their radio. and then wonder why it doesn't flash Express LRS. So here's the solution. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go into the Express LRS configurator. We're gonna leave it on official releases we're going to select the latest release. We're going to go down to device category. I'm going to select the different model that we're using. Now I'm using a beta FPV 2.4 gigahertz model. So we're going to select that. We're going to select the device and we're going to select the one that has TX for transmitter. So this model is a TX or a transmitter. Typically in FPV, TX is for transmit, RX is for receive. And the flashing model, uh, the flashing method we're gonna use is UART. You can also click to download the Lua script if you haven't already. When you set your device options, these all need to be the same between your receiver and your transmitter, otherwise it's not gonna work. The key one is binding phrase. If you untick binding phrase, you need to bind things manually. One of the beautiful things about Express LRS is the binding phrase itself. Think of this as like the Wi-Fi code, except it's embedded on the transmitter and on the receiver. And any transmitter and receiver that share that same code when they, when they power on will automatically bind. My recommendation is to use something specific to yourself, like any password. Don't use something generic, because if you happen to go flying with friends and they've all used a generic code as well, you could be in for a world of pain. So it's kind of like setting, think of it, think of it like setting your banking password. Now, most of these, you probably just want to leave as, as they are. You don't need to change them. And if you want to know what each of them do, hit the question mark and that will tell you. Personally, I just leave these as they are. The next step where we've got manual serial device selection, you'll notice we've got a range of different COM ports. Now select the one that says Silicon Labs because that's what corresponds to our transmitter. Then from here, we're gonna hit build and flash. The next step in the process is to go and flash your receiver. Now, you may be wondering if you've bought a transmitter and you haven't perhaps bought a receiver yet, or you're wondering which receiver to buy, Good news is any transmitter that is a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter is compatible with any Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz receiver. So you can mix and match. I have uh, quads that run Happy Model as well as Beta FPV and Flywoo Express LRS receivers. They're all 2.4 gigahertz receivers. So they're all gonna connect to this fella as long as the setup settings and the binding frames are the same across all of them, they will work. Ta-da! And that is done. So now that's been written, we can unplug that. 
connect it back up. Power on our transmitter. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. To check that that worked, we're going to hold down the menu button. We're going to go down to ELROS. It's going to connect. We can sit and we're now going to check. Make sure that if we change the packet rate, boom, that worked. And that's how you flash the Beta FPV transmitter and most of the other Express LRS transmitters as well. But I'll endeavor to try and build out a video library of all the others. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.